morning this is ruhani on the behalf of matri technologies welcoming you all to a learning session of knob commerce today we are going to discuss that how can we add or manage the product attributes the product attributes they are the characteristics which help us in describing one particular product these attributes they carry the power to influence the purchasing decisions of the customers so these need to be managed wisely the attributes they can be color the size the dimensions like height width weight or something very specific to your product range like type of the leather in case of leather products the number of cuts in case of diamonds etc so let's start adding them to our store but before starting let me show you what we will achieve at the end of this video here we will add four colors in two sizes of the macbook and i shall show you that how easy it would be with knob commerce to manage the different color and the sizes their placement their display the look and the feel the inventory and pricing on the front end knob commerce is so flexible and that is the reason i'm so in love with knob so let's log in into the admin panel here we click on the catalog menu go to the attributes and select product attributes here from their screen let me uh, have this thing that attributes are used for defining their price difference as per the attributes and also for the inventory tracking of the products okay so let's click on this add new On this page of add a new product attribute, we have two options: info and predefined values. Two tabs we see. On the tab of info, we have two fields. First, we have the name we want to give to our product attribute, which we are taking for our instance as product. Product color. Okay. Next, we have the description where we will be adding one line like color is available for 13.3 inch MacBook. Currently, select select your desired one. So this is the description which we want to show for our product attribute. Next, we have the tab of predefined values, but that will be shown only after we save and continue edit. Here we are. We are saved with this. Now click on this add new value. One pop-up window appears. Okay, we have the option. First is of name. We are giving the values to our product attribute of product color. So first we are going to have silver. Price adjustment. We are not going to put any price adjustment at the moment. Display order is is to enable you to just adjust the sequence of the color. Okay, I'm gonna put it as one. Save. Same. I'm gonna have one more value. Red. Um, that will be two. I'm gonna save it like this. One more. Like blue. Save it as three. So here we are, silver, red, blue, and green. We are having a four values for a product attribute, and that is product color. Okay. So we will save the end data entered so far, and we will save this as such, and we will be linking this attribute with our one of product. Okay. Right now it is not used by any of the products, so we will be linking this with our product. Go to catalog, click on products. We will select the product with which we wish to link the attribute we just created. 
Okay. So we are going to select, for example, Apple MacBook, for instance. This is opened. Here we have the product details page and we go to the tab of product attributes here. Okay, now this tab of product attributes, it's further come with two more tabs and then you can see that that is attributes and attribute combinations. So kindly select the attribute tab here and click on add new record. Here. Now this will, you can see it has opened one uh, new row with various options. From the attribute thing, we are going to have a drop down list and we're going to select our product attribute of product color. Then we're going to have a text prompt. Here we can enter the text that we wish to display for the product attribute. And then I will be just having it like select color for your Mac. Okay. Next we have is required. Let me hand it for you. This is required this checkbox needs to be ticked in if we wish to make it mandatory to be selected by the customers before checking out now we are ticking this in for our instance then we have control type you see that now this field comes with various options in which we wish to display our product attribute on the public store drop down list radio button uh, with which the customers can select only one value check boxes uh, with which the customers can opt for more than one value the color squares we are having image squares the color square will give you the squares of color the image square the read only check boxes now read only check boxes will allow the store owners to pre-select the check boxes for the attributes which cannot be changed okay so we can define the validation rule for some control types like file upload here Okay, we can uh, go for the maximum size for file upload and when we're selecting text box, we can go for the maximum length of text box or the minimum length of text box. Okay, however, for our instance, we're going to select the color squares. Next, we are going to update this. We're going to have a display order now the order in which we need to display this option. Now, this will work if you have more than one attribute defined for a product. So, but do not confuse it with the display order we gave to the colors while creating the attribute values, okay? So we're going to keep it as second, for instance. Next, we're going to have values. Now we can see we are going to have uh, values. So we're going to click on this edit values. We can see the predefined values a total four we have defined that silver red blue and green right that total four values are shown here we'll edit them here we will edit the values we will assign the related rgb color to the box and assign the product images okay so let me select the silver color for you like this this is a bit of silver. This is silver. And this is a bit of like silver, right? Mm, yeah. This is perfect. Okay. And the color picture I'm going to have for this, this is the one. Okay. Next, I'm going to, not going to have any sort of a price adjustment for this because this is our base product. This, this, uh, you know, silver color, I'm going to keep it as my base color. So I'm not going to have any sort of price adjustment for the silver color MacBook. So just save this here. Display order is one. I'm keeping it one. Save this. Here you can see. Great. Next, we're going to do the same for the rest of the values. The red, I'm going to select the red here. Yes, but here I'm going to have my price adjustment of $250. Okay, after that, I'm going to select the picture. This is the right picture and I'm going to save it. Here you can see. Same ways I'm going to do for the blue and the green. The price adjustment for this is of 
three hundred dollars I'm gonna give it and I'm gonna to have a picture and save it and yes I'm gonna do do it for the same as green let me select it for you like this is a very different green let me is it okay yeah and I this I, this is this is okay okay now we are going to select it as $350 as a price adjustment and save this picture. Now here on the screen you can see, right, we have done our job till now and we are going to click on back to product details. I'm going to have this product attributes again. Okay, so let's just save and continue edit the things. Now, we will be adding one more attribute here. The product has been updated, okay? So, we will be adding one more attribute here from here. Add new record. We'll be selecting one attribute size. We are using the text prompt for this. This product is available in two different size options. Next, we want it to be required. Uh, we want that user cannot check out without selecting a size for the MacBook, okay? Then we have the control type. We are going to keep it as a radio button list. Let's have a display order like do for this. Update this. And I cannot say the display order here. I'm going to keep it one updated for product color. Or I can wish to go for my size to come before product color. So I'm going to display my order as like this. Size 1 and product color 2. Great. Next, we are going to have the edit value section. Now you can see we are not having any values. So we are going to define some values for size from here. Add a new value. Going to have 13.3 inch, and we are going to have it like display order as one. Great, and yes, we are going to just keep it as a pr uh, base product, so no price adjustment will be done for 13.3 inch. Okay, just save it. Next, one more value I have to give for the size option. And that is of 15 inch. And for that, I'll mention one more thing that only silver color option. Okay. So from here, I'm going to give a price adjustment for this for be like, I can go for $500. It will increase the price of 15 inch product by $500, okay? We will select uh, the product picture of silver color and we save it. That's it, okay? Okay, I forgot to give their display order. Excuse me for this. I'm gonna have this as two and then save it. Here you go, right? So, just let's go back to product details now. I'm going to product attributes tab here. Now, now it's the time we get go bit advanced. You would see that uh, you can do yourself what you were expecting your developer to do in many other shopping carts. You can define the conditions in product attribute tab. We have to put a condition here you can see edit condition we have to put a condition on the product color so as uh, the color options appear only for the 13 inch size let us assume that 15 inch product comes only in silver color just as we mentioned right so click on the edit condition button against the product color it will open a pop-up tick in the checkbox which is next to the enable condition we will select the attribute 
the size on which the visibility of the product color will rely. Then we select the attribute value with the size of 13.3 inch for our instance and save it. It will show the colors only for the 13.3 option. Okay, so let's save it. And let's see how this product attributes work over the front end. Okay, let me show you. From here we go to our notebooks. And yes, we're going to select our Apple MacBook. Here, we can see our product is appearing with the attribute of size. Okay, now the colors are defined as a conditional on the size selection. So these are not showing at the moment. Okay, now when we make a size collection, um, sorry, it's size selection as a 13.3 inch, just click on this. Here, we are able to see all the values for the product color as well. Great. Now, we can observe the difference in price uh, also if we are going to select the different colors. Okay. So, we can just go for a price differences by selecting the red. Here, you can see 2050. And for the blue one, it's just $2,100. Great. So, now once we're selecting the size option back to us 15 inch. Color squares disappear and the price difference is so $500 of $2,300. Okay, we can see that. So you may ask why still the product images here, they are showing all the four product images. I'm so sorry, but it is not built in feature. You can definitely ask your developer if you need the customization at that level. So this is the way you can add the product attributes for your Nopcommerce store. Still, if any queries are left or any assistance is required, kindly reach me at nopcupperspot at nop at the rate of the matridtech.net. Or you can call us at 855-370-5507. So let's wrap up this video. I hope this session was helpful for you. This video was presented by Matrid Technologies.